Hi everybody, today um, I'm opening up Masters of the Universe Classics King Hiss. Um, it's John again. Uh, here he is in his standard um, Maddie Collector white shipping box that he comes in. Um, let's take a look at what he looks like from inside the box. So there is King Hiss, the original version of him. Uh, very cool. Snake Man logo on the front there. Um, he comes in the standard box. Ooh, it says original, which means he is a repo or second run of the figure. Um, I did pick him up recently because I was missing him in my collection. Take a look at him closer up in his box. Pretty cool detail on him. Uh, here is his bio if anybody wants to check that out and uh, let me get him outside of the box all right so here we have King Hiss outside of his package overall he's a pretty cool looking figure um, he has this very interesting grin on his face um, I believe in the original toy line he was a the hero that came along to help he man and the Masters of the Universe battle Skeletor. Uh, but he turned out to be a traitor in the long run. And is really the ancient ruler of the Snake Men who roamed Eternia long before the human beings did. And he has spent his life trying to bring them back into power. Um, he is the th ruler of the third faction of villains. It's, of course, Skeletor, the evil masters, Hordak of the Horde, and... Um, King Hiss of the Snake Men, uh, which he had his whole army of figures to go along with him as well. It's very close to the original figure, which is amazing. Um, the original one's armor would fall off and reveal a snake underneath. This one's a little bit different, but we'll take a quick look at him. Uh, his head articulation moves up and down slightly, left and right. Great detail on his armor. Um, they had, they put a lot of time into these figures at the very beginning of the line. Very good detail on the face, little snake eyes he has. He does come with his, uh, snake armor. Which does not look like it is removable. Which is okay. Um, he does have the ab crunch articulation still, which on him is kind of a little loose. Um, his shoulders are articulated, his biceps his elbows and his wrists which carry that same snake design through his armor uh, his ball jointed hips which are nice and snappy tight on him which is good to see um, and he does have an articulation of the knee and his foot which are really tight which is good and that's about it on his articulation yeah good and he stands on his own pretty well even though he leans forward a little bit Got the cool little snake logo. Uh, it does come with a couple of extra pieces. Uh, this little snake shield, which is really cool, nicely detailed. It's uh, molded in red and then has this kind of alternate red color put on top of it that gives it that detailed, almost shiny look to it. And it just pops onto his arm. And he has his shield. And then he also comes with his snake staff. Which again has some really good detail on it. <clears throat> From the teeth to the sculpting work. Even the multicolored greens on it are really nice. Seems that... I, well, I'm relatively new to this toy line. I just started collecting it uh, last year. and. The older figures that I pick up seem to be a lot better produced and detailed than some of the newer ones, which is unfortunate. They are starting a couple of new toy lines next year, so the filmation style version of the He-Man figures and the Thundercats figures, which I think I've talked about before that I'm excited about them. Let's see if I can get him to even hold his staff. There we go. 
Now there he is with his accessories. So the way his snake reveal is is a little bit different. You can pull him at the waist, and he comes out quite easily, thankfully. And we just put him over there. And uh, then you got this pair of legs here. And you can add this guy. It's a completely rubber piece with this gloss on it to give it the kind of slimy look. He does have an articulated jaw, kind of. It's pretty nicely detailed. It's a little tacky. It's uh, quite a bit sticky. And mine's got a little bit of goop on his nose. Probably from rubbing on the package. I might be able to clean that off. And he just plugs in into the base. And then you got King Hiss with his uh, snake features. They are bendy. Uh, these limbs are bendable. And they hold their shape pretty good. It's a weird design. It's very close to the original. They are doing a another snake body um, that should be up for sale in January, I believe. But that is a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics King Hiss. Um, overall, I really like the figure. It's uh, one of the nicer of uh, the villains with all the sculpting on the legs and to his entire body. Uh, very good piece. Right. As always, uh, thanks for looking and subscribe and like if you can. Uh, I'll see you soon.